Hey everybody, it's Justin with Smart Homes of Texas here. Uh, we're out here in Capel, Texas, where we finished up a smart home a couple months ago. I was out here doing some updates and wanted to do a quick walkthrough. We have a control for Zigbee door lock here. That can be controlled via any pad in the house. And they're also set up on different um, timers throughout the day to lock and unlock for the gates. Um, they also send remote notifications uh, whenever they're locked and unlocked to the owner. That way he knows when people are coming and leaving. Um, we got some awesome railings here. Those are all set up on occupancy sensors to come on whenever they sense people are in the area. Coming into the living room, we've got a huge stone wall with a Samsung 80 inch TV and an episode center channel mounted to it. We actually had to custom fabricate the brackets to mount that to it because the TV was just so big. We have our in ceiling surround sound. The system's super easy to use. For all of our different options we have. So if we simply select Netflix, it's going to turn on our TV. go straight into Netflix. So from there, sorry, I'm trying to get a good angle of this. From there, we can easily surf Netflix. We have other options as well. We have our cable. Um, this is a cool option here. We have a movie server built in. So if we select movie, oh, play, it's going to switch it over to our movie server and start playing Fast and the Furious 5. As you can see on the touch screen, it populates the cover art and all of the information and then point we have control for lighting here so whenever I push the color buttons it easily turns the lighting around so it's easily adjust everything mm -hmm. whenever you're there it's sitting in your couch Some other options we have in the living room, we've got Pandora Radio, we have um, a music server as well um, to hold all of his music library. So if we select any of these items, we can easily listen to them. Other 
options. Um, we do have our security system built in. If we want to arm or disarm our system from the touch panel, we can, or any TV in the house. And we also have our garages linked, so we know if they're up or down, and we can also control them. Coming through the house, we have our Nest thermostat number one that's on the system. If we do comfort, we can easily see them right there. And can control them from every room. We have our nest for the master bedroom. This room is on our audio network, so we can listen to music sources through here. And we've got a 60 inch TV in the bedroom. So if we go into our panel, simply select master bedroom, changes our remote over, click watch. And we have all of our same options. So if we choose Netflix, it's going to turn on the TV. Just like before, we instantly choose a movie. Going outside, we've got episode speakers hanging from the ceiling. They cover the entire backyard. Cool thing about Control 4 and this pool system is it's made by Jandy. Is we actually have control over the pool. So if they go into pool controller, we can control the pool as well as the spa directly from our touch panel so we don't have to pull out the actual pull controller itself. Going upstairs, we have our family entertainment room, which is pretty cool. We have a 120 inch Screen Innovations Slate Zero Edge screen with the backlit LED lighting. We've got a full episode surround sound. These are the 700 series speakers with magnet grills. They do come off. Sorry, my nails aren't long enough to get them off. I'll use a little, little pit tool. As you can see, we've got two six and inch driver and a tweet to really fill this room with some good sound. In this room, uh, we decided to use a Epson 8350 projector. It's about a year or two old, but it, uh, we were able to get it at a good price on Epson.com refurbished. And it honestly does a great job on this screen, 1080p, uh, movies, cable, and everything else. Episode 12 inch sub to fill this room with bass. Coming into the rack area, this is the brains behind the entire system. We've got our two cable boxes to feed the entire house, PlayStation 3 for some games. We've got a Roku 4 to handle our Netflix, Vudu, Amazon. Uh, all the goodies that we want to stream throughout the home. We've got a Dune media player that handles our movie server and then our actual hard drive where all of our movies are saved. We've got a 
binary HDMI matrix switch to easily switch all the sources. Um, an Arachnus 16-port uh, switch for our entire network. We've got a couple audio video receivers. Um, Denim was my choice for this house for the two surround sound zones and then an Onkyo for the master bedroom to for the stereo sound. We've got a Control 4 HC800 processor um, and then a Luxel router that's connected to a UB Qualify uh, long range access point which is actually sitting on top here to cover the entire house. Um, and then we have a easy to use uh, power plate here to turn off whatever devices we want. Um, they're not labeled on the switch but we do have a laminated card here in the area that will tell us which each switch is. So if we need to reboot the control 4 we hit switch 1, the modem switch 2, Luxel router switch 3, and so on for all of our different sources. Um, that about does it for this house here. Um, until next time, thanks for watching.